Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Airships. Once again in the previous episode, we managed to take out most of the nations on this island. As you can see, I now own all but one city. There's only this one here that's a real thorn in my side. Hopefully, we'll be taking that out this episode and also uh, assaulting them down the bottom here. There's only two nations left, me and this computer here. What we need to do... We need to we need to punch hard. I think we really need to hit them hard. And what I'll do, I'll go to Generican. Actually, that's a small shipyard. Do we have any medium shipyards? We do have a medium shipyard. There's a large shipyard over there. Small shipyard there. We'll go to our Generican, and we're going to go to build ship. And we want to build a Bombardington, but we don't have a heavy heavy cannon available. So I think what we're going to do, we could do a little bit too Biggington. Nah, it's a bit small. I think we're going to go with the uh, the Fighterington because that's what a lot of people were liking in the last episode. So I'm just going to build loads of Fighteringtons. Pretty much on every single area that we can build them, we're going to build Fighteringtons. There we go. Job done. I think that's about it. Looks about right to me. So, uh, also we repelled these uh, aggressors over the bottom. That was was it was alright fight that one actually. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I'm just going. I'm, I've, I've unpaused it just so we get these ships built, and then obviously we're going to move them back in. And it looks like they are trying to assault me again, but I have a lot more ships ready to actually take them out. There we go. And what I want to do as well, I want to go to Generican, that's our home sort of base. I want to go to uh, Create Ship and want to open the design of the uh, Flackington, which is something we've been fiddling around with pretty much every episode. I want to see what I can do if I put uh, reinforced wooden armour on it, because uh, ah, my service ceiling will be minus. No, we can put steel armour, what about steel armour? Ste uh, our service ceiling will only be uh, 13 metres, so that wouldn't really work. Hmm... See, a lot of people have said we could actually make this a little bit longer and put a big suspendium chamber in it. That would be quite good. However, that would mean a fairly big redesign from the middle onwards. And I'm not a big fan of that one. I don't really fancy trying that. The only other option is that I get rid of, say, the fire point. Get rid of the fire point. Hang on. Like that. And then go to our probably suspendium uh, on lift and put a big suspendium chamber in there. Server ceiling now 60 meters. If we took the old one out, actually, we actually get a server ceiling of 40 meters. Ah, right. This is actually getting to a point where if I redesign it a little bit, I might be able to get that fire point back in. Hmm. Don't think so. I don't think we'll be able to get that in. No, it's it's just not feasible to get that fire point in where I uh, would like it. I am going to move things the, these things about though. Can, is there any point in putting that like that? Yeah, it means you can go down. Hmm. See, and we might end up making this a little bit longer, just to put a fire point in, but it means that we've got a better service ceiling and we're going to be more armoured. The problem with this thing at the moment is it just gets shot to hell. It just gets destroyed too quickly. I'm going to remove them uh, bits at the front there and actually put some uh, just co straight corridors. Then I'm going to put double bunks in this thing so we actually have more crew. And then I'm probably going to expand it to the left a little bit, like that, and then just redo the where the engines are. And then we just need to put a fire point in. Which, sadly, we're going to have to remove them bits and connect them up like so. Put a fire point in. Is it going to work? Damn it, no. We're going to have to make it just a little bit longer as well. Actually, if I remove that and put that there, we can actually remove all of these guns and do that. <laughs> and then now we can make it a little bit longer and then finally put in the corridors. A little bit too corridor-y, and it's also really, really long now with a couple more guns, but it will uh, do the job quite nicely. It needs a, a supply hatch, so I will uh, put an supply hatch in. Damn, it needs more supply hatches. Hmm. There we go. That's all the supply hatches in. Right. So that does function now. I think that is probably a better design. Armour is, as you can see, 
uh, all on there. We'll put a coat of arms on it because we haven't got one. Good. I think that's about right. We will save the design and we'll save it as what we have before. Yes, we will override that. No problem at all. And then we'll go to build ship and we will build uh, one of the Flackingtons. A new Flackington. Stronger, better, faster. Uh, may, might not be any of them things, but uh, we'll give it a go. Right, we're going to get invaded over the bottom here on Corona, so let's see how this goes. I have got, by the look of it, some more uh, ships to fight against. I'm going to spread these things out just in case one of them explodes and it falls. We don't really want to have them close together. There we are. Going to move my defensive structure further back as well, like that, and we'll start it. So, they have one, two, three ships, and looks like they are some sort of... Ah, they've got grenades by the look of it. Actually, I'm not too sure what they've got. Either way, we are assaulting them quite well here. The problem with the Fighterington's is that they don't have a high service ceiling, and that's just... That's just because... Oh, look at their boarding ships again. Yeah, they are... Oh, are they boarding ships? No, they were the boarding ships. Is that my ship there? That might... No, that's not mine. No, it's, it's close to mine, but uh, it's, it is not mine. Let's move these back here. Uh, yeah, the, the, the service ceiling is low on these things. God, they're getting everything's getting bored. It looks like we've taken it out, though. Yeah, it's going to drop right down. Um, looks like we've taken that one out as well. And that one's coming down the sky. That's going to be a big bang. Yeah, that one didn't last too long, did it? And this is problematic. going to have to bring these back. Victory. One's a mobile, two are out of my mobile, one's destroyed. Ooh, that's close. Whew. Yeah, yeah, the service ceiling. I kept, kept on moving off because of uh, all of the violence. The service ceiling is low because we only have one small suspendium chamber. And obviously the reason for that was to keep the size down. It was um, Size was at a premium on that one. So anyway, we are... Uh, well, what have we actually captured? We got cheap wood, temp, minus 10% module cost, uh, and minus 50% wooden armor cost. That's all right. Heavy steel armor's over there. That's really, really good. Flamethrowers, and uh, plus 30% damage from explosives. That's pretty good as well. So, we're bringing all of these Swarmingtons. I call them Swarmingtons, the, the, the Fighteringtons, over there. Looks like we're getting attacked down the bottom. What I need to do is build ship, and we need to build probably a... I'm going to wait a little bit. I, I do want to wait a little bit, see what we get here. Uh, oh my good grief, that is a fairly big feat, isn't it? So they've got one, two, three assault ships, four, five assault ships, six assault ships by the look of it. This is going to be really difficult, this one. I don't know if I can even win this. They've just got a lot of ships. Move the Flackington right down. The big problem with the Flackington still is that it, um, it doesn't have any defences for getting boarded. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click start and immediately pause it and get that Bomberington to go straight up as fast as possible. We need to get that right up high so um, nothing happens. I reckon we're going to get boarded over this side. That is my ship. That's what they've captured from me. And I think they are going to start capturing my ships. It's probably going to try. There's my bomber working quite well. That's okay. We're going to bring it around the top there. One's being boarded over there. The Flackington. However, we're going to ground the ship. There we go. We'll land it. And yeah, you can see uh, they are swinging with some boarding ships. Oh my good grief. There's a lot of ships just being taken out. All of this is a massive cluster of boarding. All of these are captured. We've actually lost one, two, three ships from capturing. That one's boarded, not yet captured. Flackington's working quite well. Looks like the bomber is uh, doing well. So we'll bring that over there. That is my ship. I don't know why it's going there. I want to spin it around. Is it because it's been boarded? No, it's just moving over there for, for random reasons. So I'm actually losing a lot of ships here just because of the just because of um, them assaulting me. And that's actually something that Oh my good grief, they're coming right close to me. Can they jump? If they can jump up just even one inch, I am screwed. I think my bombs are actually gonna wreck it here. There's the bombs, there's the bombs. And that is falling out of the sky. Oh no, it's not falling out of the sky. It's trying to run away by the look of it. Yes, it is running away. So, all but that ship has actually been taken out by them. Uh, by me, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, this is... They're beating me at my own game here. See, I used to... My, my tactic was to just capture their ships with um, assault boats. But uh, it looks like they are beating me at my own game. They're dirty rascals, them. Right, let's move the Bombardington over to the left. And that should allow me to drop, keep dropping, keep dropping the bombs, keep dropping the bombs. There you go. That hits some vital. Oh, that's even more vital. That's fires. That's three fires. Looks like they've got a fire point though. They're putting it out. Um, oh, there we go. That's yeah, that one ship. 
That one ship is just hovering around the place. Why am I dropping bombs on my own vehicle? Oh no, we're dropping it down there. Eventually, I am going to destroy them. That's a, it's, it's, it is just inevitability, right? That I am going to destroy them with this bomber. But, uh, it's just a question of when. God, they are just boarding all of my ships. This is one of the big problems with me not putting uh, guard points in and marines and such. Right. Looks like most of their ships have been defeated. There must be one remaining somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? It'll be over one corner, won't it? There's a couple of their ships gone. They've all been defeated. As far as I can tell, they've all been defeated, so why is it not ending? There must be a ship hiding somewhere. Nope. As far as I can tell, they're all defeated. So, I guess it's due with the captured ships, maybe. Either way... Oh, either way, this is problematic. The bomber, although it's made for sort of... Not long range, uh, not long term engagements. It's. I think this is the longest fight it's ever been in. And. I think I'm running out of coal here. <laughs> I can't actually give it orders. There we go. Hmm. We are absolutely destroying. Ah, there we go. It was that little captured ship there. Victory. It was just hiding. It actually looked like it was part of the other ship. So, that was a big fight, actually. So, a lot of ships destroyed. Look at all the destroyed ships on that one. And sadly, most of it's mine. Uh, they managed to capture one of my fighterington's, But I have repelled them, which is a good thing. I'm going to move. I actually want to scrap that fighterington. Ooh. I want to scrap some of these fighterington's Because some of them are very damaged. Anyone that's damaged on the fighterington's, We're not just going to refit. We're just going to scrap it. And I guess we will go to build ship and we'll build another Flackington because they work quite well. I am going to build from the large shipyard over there. Actually, no, medium shipyard. This has just been taken over. We'll go to build ship and we'll build a Bomberington. And then we will move them over here and that will uh, hopefully help us out. We're going to have the Flackington join build ship. Do you want a Bomberington? Yeah, let's have more Bomberingtons. We're running out of them. Uh... Move all of these ships over. You, move there. Okay. I really need to take these guys out to the left. It looks like they're running away. Excellent. Right, I'm going to invade them quickly. I'm going to take this opportunity to take back this island. Right, so Flackington and my bomber. It's not much, but it's enough to take out what they have. And for some reason, I can't issue orders. I'm after using the uh, keyboard commands. This is a weird one. Move to there. I don't think this fight will last long. Do you? Uh, it's only a little bomber. Uh, my, well, my bomber is uh, going to be able to drop down and uh, hopefully just destroy that thing quite quickly. There's bombs going in. They have a big cannon in there by the look of it. Or air cannon. It wouldn't... It's not going to do too much. It's not going to be too much of a problem, really. We'll move the flacking down. We should be able to get a couple of shots in. Maybe? Nah. Not going to get any shots in, I'm afraid. But there's the bomber. <laughs> The bomber is doing what the bomb does best, which is bomb the living hell out of them. Here we go. There's some more bombs. Totally inaccurate. <laughs> you see, yeah, we've uh, we've done a bit of um, landscaping. Yeah, do you want to actually stop just destroying the land and uh, actually shoot that thing? I think this thing we're actually going to... Nothing. It doesn't matter because I've managed to disarm that fortress. Right, gentle takeover. And that means we've actually taken over this entire island. Wow, that's good. I'm glad we've actually managed to do that. That's... Uh, it took quite a while. Right, let's see. Where have we got most of our ships? We've got our Flackington over there. We've got a bomber. We're going to bring our bomber over there. And we will bring... What? What is that one? That's another bomber. We'll move it down there. And then, this is going to be a bit insane, but fair enough. We're going to go to... Uh, <laughs> build ship. Fighterington. Build ship. Fighterington, build ship. If I can actually click on it, build ship. Fighterington. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing around every single one. Uh, people are wanting to see more of these things, so I thought, why not? I actually don't think we'll be building any, sh uh, actually creating any new ships in this one. We've done a lot of editing, so we don't really need to do that. 
Uh, my little fleet over the left hand side there is actually going to go down. What I'm doing is I'm trying to just ninja take all of their areas where they haven't got anything that's like of note. So no real big defences, certainly no fleets. So uh, I just need to move these here. Actually I'm going to use this, do I use this as a ram? Let's ram through these trees, the trees shouldn't be that tough. Yeah, the trees are not that tough, however, this 100-year-old orc is uh, giving me a bit of jip. So, uh, <laughs> let's move just over there. Oh, that was some advital. I managed to take that defensive structure out very, very quickly. That was good. Let's uh, just move these over there. A lot of shots coming down. That's good, that's good. Shots are smashing into that quite well. Move further down. I think the Flackington is actually... Oh, yes, that's... Um, Fairly destroyed that one. Good thing about the uh, the bomber is obviously it's up high and such, so they can't really get to me. They're, I don't think they have the. Uh, or maybe these little guns can get to me, but the Flackington is uh, fairly destroyed. If we click move, can we just run it away? No, we can't because that's dead. That's a dead ship. It's uh, it's on fire. Fire point is um ah oh, yeah. Slight problem here, the fire point, because of the way everything's connected, you can only actually run through the top bit to put the fire out, so when that gets destroyed, uh, we can't put any fires out. Either way, that's a victory there, so we'll do a gentle takeover. We're going to have to stop, move a lot of our ships back over to the area we've just taken, and then what I'm going to do is move my, <laughs> my fighterington's and my main fleet, I guess it would be. My main fleet... Over to uh, over to the bottom. Let's build some more of these fighteringtons. I just need to keep piling them out. Oh, that's defenses. We haven't really built any defenses. I said I was going to do that in the, the next episode, and that just hasn't happened. Has it? That's just a complete lie. It wasn't a lie. I did actually intend to make some defenses, but uh, we've been too busy attacking. No point in building defenses when we're just storming forward. So I don't know what they've got uh, coming towards me. It looks like they've got. Oh, this isn't this isn't actually the uh, the defensive one. This is the attack. Um, I think we can safely say with two bombers, with two bombers, I should have this. And obviously the uh, the fighteringtons. I'm pretty much going to put these all on rapid fire. It's actually snowing as well, which is quite good. I'm putting all these on rapid fire because it's just going to speed things up a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> oh my good grief! That's a lot of bombs on that right hand side there. A lot of shots in general. Already taken one of their defensive structures out by the look of it. And shots are absolutely raining in there. We've got the Flackington on the left hand side, but it's pretty much got no purpose here. I should have actually put it into uh, reserve. But no matter, no matter. What's going to happen? Yep, there's another structure gone. We need to move the other bomber. We'll move it right on top. Obviously, you can shoot through your own ships. I always think they're guns, but not the birds, apparently. Oh, my good grief. That is... Yeah, that's fairly brutal. That's gone. We'll do a gentle takeover. That's at this area here. As soon as I click gentle takeover, however, what's going to happen is the game will unpause, and then uh, this fight will kick off. So here we go. It looks like I have a Flackington versus... Oh! A Flackington, a bomber, and a little, uh, a little ship. Oh, I didn't mean to reserve that. Uh, and my little... Little beast of a ship. The Fighterington versus that one there. And looks like the... Oh, that didn't work out so well. Yeah, so what happened there? Uh, <laughs> my one and only hope of... Well, not my one and only, but my biggest hope of surviving this one. Uh, my Flackington didn't have a suspendium chamber, so it fell out of the sky. And then uh, proceeded to crash into the, uh, the nice big defensive structure, uh, destroying it. So yeah, that didn't work out. Looks like my bomber is going to have to do the work. I think out of all the ships that I've made, the bomber's probably the most useful. It's got the highest service ceiling, so it can avoid all of the shots and all the getting in, uh, getting boarded and such. And it just attacks them quite well. It really does just work out. Uh, it's very slow, as you can see, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. It doesn't really matter because it does that. It just gets to a certain range and then bang, 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 bang. Look at all of the bombs. And then it pretty much takes them out. I could press ground ship and just ram into the bottom of it, but that would probably not be a good idea. Uh, I am going to go down, however. That's a big explosion. Surely, how is that ship still functioning? I mean, it's dead. I mean, look at that. That's all on fire. There it goes. Boom. And that's a victory. So we managed to defeat them there. And look at the Fighterington's just swarming on that location. That's fantastic. What I'm going to do then is uh, keep moving all of these ships down over. 
And then I'm going to keep swarming them down here. This is their defense. Oh my good grief. This is just uh, one, just on their second island here. And I don't think it's going to last long. They've got two defensive structures. Obviously all of these guys are on uh, ammo. Obviously rapid fire. Look at that gun. Look at it pound into that. <laughs> oh, There's uh, no competition on this one. I think they are going to be destroyed quite fast. Yeah, there we go. That was a victory straight away. We're going to click OK and we'll do a gentle takeover. I'm not even going to stop this one. We're just going to keep waving into them. Uh, it looks like they are actually trying to invade back, but I don't think it's going to matter because I'm just going to keep going forward. All of these guys are in a big row. They're going to quickly, as soon as they get to the gun, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to get all of these ships um, very fast. Look at that. These are really nice fighters, these things. There's the bombs coming in. See, they're only building these very small defensive structures, and I've got so the city's so big. I've got so many nations, uh, so many cities rather, that I can just keep waving into them, and I'm not even going to stop. I'm not going to stop. There's only well, they've only got one city left. They're going to attack me. Uh, actually, this isn't their attack. This is my, my attack. But they've only got one other um, one other structure left on the other side. So I don't think it's really going to matter. Oh my good grief. There, well, that's, that tower didn't last very long, did it? That's why I didn't put any of the bombers over that. I thought, they're so close to the Fighterington's, it's not going to matter. Look at the speed, the efficiency, the efficiency. Victory, there you go. Victory straight away. I didn't even get to uh, stop them there. That was it. That, <laughs> that was... That was actually a lot easier than the last one. I don't know whether it's because of just design or look or whatever, but... Um, yeah, that worked out. That worked out quite well, didn't it? So... I think what we've uh, discovered from this this campaign is that flagships work uh, in certain circumstances. They are fantastically good at destroying vessels, but they are obviously not really something you want to put on probably movable ships. Uh, they're probably more of a defensive structure a weapon, which I knew at the time, but I thought we'll try and put it on a ship, and it does work. Bombs, bombers are still great. You can just bomb people. It's fantastic. Uh, the 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 fighters, them fighterington's with the with the machine gun on it, with the Gatling gun, they work spectacularly well. Not in a long engagement, but we only had one or two long engagements on the entire campaign. Either way, that is a victory. I've enjoyed this. What we're gonna do? I'm probably going to. I don't. I, I don't think I want to do another campaign because I can't think of. I really am sort of out of ideas on what we can actually build. So unless there's something in the uh, subsequent patches, uh, like the next couple of patches, I'm probably going to leave it until uh, version seven when um, hopefully there'll be more. Uh, more stuff, but yeah, interesting one. Really like this one as well. I, 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 I say I'm not going to do another campaign in this one. I might in a couple of minutes decide that no, that, that's balls. I'm, I'm going I'm to do it again. I'm going to continue playing, but um, plan is to give it a break for a while and then uh, see how it goes. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care yourself and generic partings.